Hello and welcome. If you are new here, my name is Zaina and today's video we are doing DIYs with roses. This is part of the Bloom with Grace challenge and there's a giveaway so listen to the end to know how you can enter. I'm starting out with this blue grayish paint that I mixed up on my own and I am going to be painting these round frames and before the backs I'm using these two pieces of cardboard but you can cut out some round cardboard uh, that is just what I had on hand now these round frames were from Dollar Tree and they had mirrors in them now Dollar Tree has come out with like a couple different sizes of these round frames these were the larger of the two that they have come out with so giving this a good coat now this gray blue paint is a mixture of white chalk paint from waverly uh, true navy from apple barrel and some elephant from waverly i found these rose prints off on the internet i just typed in public domain row images of white roses and i found these prints so i just put my frame up to the print and see where i wanted it to you know display the roses and i then adhered that to that white backing and i used hot glue and then after I put it down, I kind of spread it out right away. Now, if you are sensitive to heat, I suggest you use something else than your hand. But um, this is printed out on cardstock. So um, it wasn't quite like real hot right away. I could spread it out with just my fingers. I'm going to cut off the excess here with my scissors for now. And then I am going to cover up the print with some clear contact paper but this is because my house gets so dusty that I wanted to be able to wipe this off and I felt if I didn't cover it up I wouldn't be able to wipe it off so I cut down a piece of clear contact paper from Dollar Tree the size of this round here and then um, when I'm all done cutting that out I take off the paper on the clear contact paper here and now the contact paper is down and the paper side is coming off and that was up now that sticky side is facing up and I'm going to put my print down on that I'm a homeschool mom and this is the best way I found to get less bubbles that you put it directly onto the contact paper and then pick it up and then smooth it out um, when I homeschool and I did kind of like a faux laminating that helped me to get the less less bubbles on things so that's my trick then I just take my utility knife and cut away that excess of that contact paper again I am going to cover the back with some like black and white contact paper from Dollar Tree this has roses on it so I thought that fit our DIY theme as well had that sticky side up put my round onto that then I was able to to get any of those bubbles out hardly any was there use my utility knife to cut it contact paper i feel is so hard to cut with scissors so i like to cut with a utility knife now the back of my frame had the hanger on it still so i'm just going to take that off and some of those prongs were still there so i pushed them down and broke them off using hot glue i am just going to do a couple spots with hot glue because i wanted to get my picture on there before the hot glue cooled and I am done with this one. Now I start the same process on the second photo, covering the back, putting it onto the round and seeing where I need to cut it to display the photo, hot gluing that down in place. And then I, of course, cut off the excess on the second photo as well. So it's not really my... DIYs unless I'm like distressing it now I really wished I had some white wax but I didn't have any so I thought why not just distress it with some white chalk paint so I'm just dry brushing some white paint on there I really like the how it looks I didn't like how it was you know just one plain color um, so here's how it turned out I'm so excited. I am co-hosting this with my friend Brenda over at Moner's Market. She is a wonderful DIYer and such a great big heart. She does chalk couture. And look at this beautiful 
Christmas truck she did with her Chalk Couture. And then she does lots of DIYs, but this was a recent flip that she did. So it was so pretty, I wanted to show you. So go check out Brenda's channel in the description box below and the playlist for this challenge. And we are going to be doing a giveaway. You listen to our videos, listen for a secret word, comment that in our description box, and then you'll be entered for the giveaway. So this next DIY, I am using these beautiful roses. I think they were from Hobby Lobby. I'm not sure. These were gifted to me. So I love cream roses, so I had to use them. And then this milk can actually was gifted to me as well. It was originally $14.99 at Hobby Lobby, but it was on clearance for about $4. I'm going to cover this whole thing in white Waverly chalk paint. I'm a plaid ambassador, so I'm going to link that um, chalk paint in the description box below. I usually just get it at Walmart. So that's my, my favorite place to get the chalk paint and my apple barrel paint as well because that's a plaid paint. So when I gave this tin can, this milk can, a coat of white chalk paint. By the way, that's my secret word, milk can. Make sure you, you put that in the description box below. Okay, so I did one coat, but uh, it wasn't very thick coat. You could still see this brush marks. Now I just cut this off or cut out some contact, this rose from the contact paper. And I wanted this to kind of be my decor or my emblem or my embellishment onto this can. But I decided I didn't really like it all together. So I took that off later. I went ahead and just put my roses right on into that milk can. And this is how it turned out. I think it's so pretty. So the next DIY is this rose linen spray. I thought it'd be fun to spray my roses so they smelled a little bit like roses. I used uh, two ounces of hot water. I boiled it in the microwave and let it cool and put it into this spray bottle. Now I'm putting about a teaspoon of rubbing alcohol in there. What that does is though, if there's anything in the water, it gets killed by the heat when you boil it and then you put the alcohol in there and so nothing can grow. Now I'm using this rose oil. I ordered this off of Amazon. And again, I'll link this in the description box below in case you wanna check it out. And I am just gonna put, I'm putting nine drops. It was a little strong with nine. I would say five for this two ounces of water would work just as well. Put the lid back on and shake it up. Next, I am going into the rose garland. I got this grapevine um, garland from Dollar General for like $1.50. So I decided to embellish it with some roses. These roses are from Dollar Tree and I got two bundles. So that gave me 10 little roses. I'm just cutting them off with about two to three inches of stem left on there. Next, I am going to put this garland. This garland I did get at Dollar Tree, but I got it in January. So I have not seen it back in there since. But I did see that Walmart carries something similar to this eucalyptus garland. And I'm just going to wrap this around. At first, I was like, ah, uh, that's a little short. But then I was able to finagle it to wrap it around. And so it kind of filled out the garland and... uh the shortness was being covered up. Now these roses, since they have a little bit of stem left on them, I just stick it right on into that grapevine part of this garland and I just space them around. There's really no rhyme or reason to what I'm doing. I'm just putting it in there to look nice to my eye. I just kind of finagle it. Now just remember to enter in for the giveaway, you need to enter in our secret words in the comment box of each of the videos. Okay, after I was done with the garland here, I just went ahead and spritzed that with some of that spray as well. And I love it, easy to decorate on the back of a dresser or back of a side table. That's it for all the DIYs inspired by roses. I hope you have a favorite one. Let me know down in the description box below, as well as go check out that playlist. Enter in our secret words in the comment box on each of the videos. So listen for the secret word in each video and put it in the comment box. Mine again was milk can. 
Now this is going to be open until the 22nd and there will be a drawing. So make sure you're subscribed so you'll know if you won the $100 Amazon gift card or not. Please hit the thumbs up button. Until the next time everyone, you have a good one. Bye.